Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KV5070311 because of this error code that is 0x800F0983. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to go to Windows Update and over here you can see Pause Update option. So hit Pause over here and once paused, now click on Resume Updates and then check. Still not working? Type in Services in Windows Search box, click on Services. And then find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then make a right click on app readiness and then click on start restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again make a right click and then click on restart Now find Windows Update in the list. Scroll down here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted and then click on OK. Then make a right click on Windows Update and then click on Restart. Now you can go back to Windows Settings. Over here if you see Retry option, hit Retry and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only click on yes to allow all the commands are provided in the video description copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time it will run a scan in my case it's already done once the scan is 100 percent complete copy the second command paste it on the same window hit the enter key and once the second scan is 100% complete copy the third command paste it on the same window hit the enter key and once the third scan is 100% complete over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here write down the name of the update that is kb5070311 and then click on search now over here check your version so type in w-i-n-v-e-r in windows search box click on winver run command and over here check the version version is 25h2 in my case so check your version over here and then open windows settings and then go to system and then go to about option over here and check the system type so in my case it's 64 bit operating system so for me it's windows 11 version 25h2 x64 based system now if you have windows 11 version 24h2 x64 then this is the right one for you for me this is the right one now click on download and then click on kb5070311 and let the download complete once the download is complete you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here scroll down click on recovery over here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once that is done restart your computer and after the system restart you will see the repair version of windows 11 version 25h2 now you can try to update your windows 11 and then check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft websites here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run the cxc file and then you have to click on accept over here by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save let the download complete Do download process will take some time and once this is done click on finish and then let this close automatically it will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute to close once closed go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer this process will take some time and once done you can log in and then 
you can update your Windows 11. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.